Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got four clean beef short ribs. The fat, the silver skin, and the membrane from the back of the bones has all been removed. Now just add salt and pepper. And be sure to get all sides of these ribs. Now this is going to be pretty much a braised short rib recipe, only I'm not going to dunk these in flour. But you should do it if you prefer. Then add some olive oil to a hot, medium sized pot. Then drop each one of the short ribs, meat side down, into the hot oil and begin to sear. You want to spend several minutes on each side before you turn. And just so you know, once you're done searing, you can add the ribs, along with the rest of the ingredients, to a roasting pan for the oven or a crock pot for your countertop if you just don't have the time. And they're going to be cooking for quite a while, so go ahead and cover it with the lid so it can concentrate on cooking that meat. In the meantime, chop some onion, some carrot, and some celery. And once you start seeing some good color on that meat, you can go ahead and push those ribs aside and add in all those vegetables. And it's a good idea to go ahead and mix these in with the ribs. Let them saute in that olive oil and the droppings from the meat. Soak in all that flavor. Let them steam under that lid for a few minutes too. And when you come back you'll see that they've softened up quite a bit. So now's a good time to add some chopped garlic and some tarragon. And you want to go ahead and just give everything a good stir. Make sure that garlic and tarragon cooks and flavors everything in the pot. And once you're convinced it's ready, go ahead and add a little bit of flour. And of course be sure you mix that in real good. This is going to soak up all that fat, make a light roux, and make it possible to make our gravy. And I usually only spend a couple minutes doing this. Half of the flavor is already in the pot. The rest we'll be adding now, starting with some red wine. The cheaper the better. I'm also going to add a little bit of brandy. And it looks like I'm finishing this bottle off. Now some beef broth. But you can use vegetable or chicken, whatever you got. Again, just stir all the ingredients together mix it thoroughly. The easy part is on its way. Just cover with the lid one last time and turn the stove down to a simmer and cook for at least an hour. Now's a good time to make your mashed potatoes and if you don't have a good recipe for these you definitely need to check out my garlic mashed potatoes recipe. I throw in a few curveballs that make these the best. But if I haven't earned your trust yet, don't take my word for it. Try them yourself. Now I should have mentioned that it's good to cook these in that pot for that hour, meat side down. It'll really help soften up that beef. And in a hot pan you want to drop one rib at a time with a ladle full of that gravy so you can help it reduce down a bit and it won't even take more than a minute to do this. But you can prep each serving with the mashed potatoes on a plate, come back in and drop that one rib right over the top of the mash, then go ahead and smother with the rest of that gravy. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. And there you have it beef short ribs right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poor man's gourmet for more recipes and exact ingredients